Hey everyone, welcome back to BDG Reviews. Uh, we've got today is something kind of special again. Um, got a vinyl update and an unboxing from Hell's Headbangers. Um, I did one of these the other month or so ago, and uh, it was kind of fun. So got another package from them, so I'll unbox it on camera. But I'll start off with the update. It's just, uh, I think, four records. One, two, yeah, four records. So first up, we have uh, Iron Maiden. This is the original Iron Maiden album. This is, again, the 2014 uh, repress that they did, which sound phenomenal. And uh, I got this for 25 bucks. I'm slowly... My goal is to have all the studio albums of Maiden on vinyl by the end of the year. I don't know whether I'm going to pull it off or not, but can but try, right? This is a good one. Um, I know the band themselves aren't that big a fan of this album. You know, I get it. I mean, it doesn't sound like what they became known for, but it's still a really good album. Next, we have... Mishima, Life in Four Chapters, the soundtrack. I can't even show you the record for this because that's still on the turntable. But, um... This is by uh, Philip Glass. And it's the soundtrack to the movie Mishima, Life in Four Chapters. Which, I love that movie. I wholeheartedly love it. And it's just kind of... I, I honestly, I didn't even know there was a, a vinyl soundtrack of it until I checked on Discogs, and there it was, and I was like, ooh, yay, mine. I got this for 25 bucks. Uh, really good album so far. I mean, I've only listened to the first side, but uh, really, it's it's your typical Philip Glass, so y you know what you're getting with Philip Glass. Good stuff, though. Next is an album, and I have to give a big shout-out to my buddy Will. He put me onto this band, and... Um, they're just kind of awesome. And that is Hate. And the album is uh, Auric Gates of Velas. These guys are um, black and death metal from Poland. Um, and uh, really good stuff. Uh, this release is this uh, black and gray and white kind of like marble type look. Really cool. Uh they're easily uh, behemoth level um, black and death metal and uh, they're really good and that's a really good album uh, only 300 copies and I got one of them so I'm kind of happy about that um, definitely worth checking out if you if you if you dig the, you know black and death metal give hate a try because they're a hell of a band they really are And last up for just the update, I have uh, Trauma, Ominous Block. I haven't actually listened to this one yet. This I got simply so I could get free shipping on the Hate album. Um, this is, again, uh, Polish death metal. I think it's Polish. And, um, you know, it could be pretty cool. Uh, i got a gatefold here. Very shiny. You know, um, like I said, haven't listened to it yet, but uh, I hope it's good. So yeah, trauma. Now we're getting into the unboxing. From Hell's Headbangers. This was, they have a bunch of records up on their site that's uh, five for 60 bucks. So, you know, pay 60, you get five records. And you get to pick what you get. So I had to look through, chose some good stuff. And, um, yeah. And uh, I've said before, I'll say again, um, at least for up here in Canada, when uh, Hell's Headbangers ship, they ship with uh, DHL. So it... You know, I'm not getting the problems that I get with, like, USPS, you know, this, uh, packing peanuts here, let's see if I can get this out without spilling them all over the place. Okay. 
Okay, there we go. Yeah, I'm quickly becoming a really big fan of Hell's Headbangers. They just they just do really good releases and reasonably priced reasonably priced shipping and quick shipping as well. So first up we have uh let's see uh Cult de Ghouls Sinister or Treading the Darker Paths. This is, um, well, come here. Better look here. Skatefold. Yeah, this is like a black metal. You know, I'm pretty sure. Uh, uh, yeah, black metal. You can't go wrong with black metal. And this seems like it could be a good one. Like I said, I essentially, with the exception of two of the records, I just sort of blind buy. I blind... Oh, shit. <laughs> well, damn. Uh, I kind of ripped that... So that's a little uh, annoying, but you know, it is what it is. Oh, I got a replacement for that. I'll stick it in. Yeah, I just uh, blind bought this. I didn't know what it was. I just knew it was black metal, and it was part of that sale, so I'm down. So yeah, Colt de Ghouls, or... I don't speak French, and that sounds like a French name, you know? I'm not sure. So yeah... Okay, next, okay, I'm going to make sure I take this out before I do that. Next, we have uh, Acid Witch, uh, Evil Sound Screamers. This is um, like a, a Doom like project sort of thing. This comes with like a bunch of shit as well. Anything else? Yeah. Like a like a doom metal project from what I've heard. Um, this is another one again. I've never really listened to them, but it's kind of cool. <laughs> Acid witch pumpkin. Carve your own pumpkin thing. Okay, kind of neat. Uh, got a poster. It looks like. Yeah. And then we got the vinyl in, uh, it's, uh, like a printed sleeve. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> Yellow, red, and white, uh, I guess like candy corn colors. Cool stuff. I mean, um, yeah, from what I know, it's like, uh, horror metal, doom type stuff. Um... Like I said, haven't heard them, but I've heard decent stuff about it. And honestly, that cover alone is awesome. Very cool. So, uh, this is one I'm really looking forward to checking out. And I have, definitely have to say, uh, this record sleeve is like... You could hurt somebody with this thing. This is really heavyweight cardboard i mean i could do that could do a bit of damage honestly uh i appreciate that for sure all right so yeah acid witch uh this is uh limited to a thousand copies so oh, that's pretty damn cool yeah Alright, next we have uh, em Embalmer with uh, Emanations from the Crypt. This is uh, Death Metal, obviously, the name like Embalmer. <laughs> uh, Gatefold. 
That's pretty cool. Oh, we got, I think, a poster in here. Let's take a look. Yeah. Poster. Very cool. Um, this is another one that was just a pure blind buy for me. Um, I'm hoping to find some good stuff. You know, but you do what you can do. Oh, crap. I forgot to put that in. Oh, well. And let's see what the vinyl is. This is on uh, clear, like red and black, a bit of like brownish colored splatter. It's pretty damn cool, honestly. I love colored vinyl. Uh, some people complain about it. I, I, don't, I don't get it. I've never had an issue. If anything, uh, I've found uh, colored vinyl has a tendency, at least for me, to play better and be less uh, less static grabbing than uh, other colors, like black or anything. So, take that for what you will. Embalmer, uh, Emanations from the Crypt. Now we're up to the last two, and these are one. These are the ones I knew about when I was getting them. First up, we have um, Pro Fanatica with uh, Pro Fanatis de Demonatia. Oh, it's it's their actually their uh, de debut. Very nice. Um, black metal, good stuff. Uh, here's the. <laughs> insert and it's just on black anything in here yeah we got a looks like we got a poster as well so very cool Okay, this was limited to 888 on black vinyl and 111 on red. So I got one of the 800 and whatever. Very cool. Okay, and last up we have, uh, again, Pro Fanatica. And that is uh, Disgusting Blasphemies Against God. Again, 888 on black and uh, 111 on swamp green. I like Pro Fanatica. My good band for sure. Again, we got the poster. record on black so yeah that was my uh, unboxing and vinyl uh, update unfortunately you know like I can't really say too much about these uh, the Hell's Headbangers one simply because I haven't listened to them yet but uh, you know I have high hopes Pro Fanatic is awesome and uh, I have high hopes for the other ones. So come here, open up, you bastard. So there we go. So that's the update. That's it for now. See you next time.